Hi, Mitch Bailey here for Baileys and Air Heroes. This video is another in a series of videos that will explain our process and will hopefully educate you on something we all take for granted, heating and air. If you're getting ready to change your system out, then you are about to make a decision that will affect you for the next 15 to 20 years. In addition, the purchase of central heating and air is probably the most expensive purchase in a home. So getting this decision right is especially important. I'm going to talk to you about rules of thumb. At our company, we do not use or depend on rules of thumb. When it comes to sizing your system and ductwork accuracy is very essential and rules of thumb are extremely inaccurate. In fact, the standard rule of thumb that most air conditioning contractors use in this area, 500 square feet per ton, was based on a home built in the 1950s. Homes back then had raised foundations with no insulation, walls with no or little insulation, single pane metal frame windows, terrible infiltration with outside air leaking into and out of the house, and usually less than three inches of insulation in the attic. When a contractor uses this rule of thumb to size your new system, especially on homes built after 1960, they are oversizing the equipment. And you might think that oversizing system is a good thing, but that could not be further from the truth. An oversized system cycles on and off, not cooling the home properly, and costs more to run than a properly sized unit. Worse, they will install the new system on ductwork that is now extremely undersized. Moreover, this means that the new system will never deliver the capacity or the efficiency that it should, costing you, the homeowner, wasted energy and money. Uh, in a quest to make American homes more efficient, the National Comfort Institute performed extensive research of thousands of installed systems between 2000 and 2011. They found that the average delivered efficiency and capacity of these systems was less than 60% because of the very practice of using rules of thumb. The worst part? Most customers do not know they have a problem. Many believe that their system doesn't cool very well and their bills are high because the system is old and that's just the way it is. When actually, these problems can usually be addressed by properly sizing the equipment and the ductwork when replacing the, their system. So, when the new system is installed using those same rules of thumb, the contractors, they are perpetuating the problems and, do, and not solving them. I have provided a link below to myhomeforcomfort.org, which is part of the National Comfort Institute for more information if you wish. Well, here at Bailey's and Air Heroes, we do not use rules of thumb. We measure your home and do a room-to-room -room load calculation that takes into account how the floor, walls, ceiling are constructed, along with the direction the house faces and what type of windows you have. We then input that, those measurements into our room-to-room -room load calculation software, WriteSoft. WriteSoft models your home using local weather data, which tells us exactly what size unit you need. It goes one step further by telling us exactly how much air is required in each room and at each register. In other words, we are not guessing. We are using software and technology to produce an accurate model of the home and how it will perform and the necessary data to design a system that will make the home comfortable while saving energy and money. Let me give you an example using our WriteSoft software. All right, so uh, here we are in our WriteSoft software. This is on the drawing screen. The drawing screen has a whole lot of information that we can use. Uh, uh, first off, let's go over the way the house is constructed. This house was for a marina camper. It's uh, over um, in a town just outside of Modesto. What we're doing on this house is uh, we, she had some complaints that she, her unit doesn't seem to keep the house cool. Uh, and we went in to check the system and see where we're at. So the first thing we do is we, we got to measure the house. So we measure the house and then we do what we call a test in to check everything because she doesn't need a unit replaced. She just needs a lot of extra work done. So first off, let's just go over the house itself. It has R19 in the ceiling, wood shakes, uh, half inch gypsum board at the ceiling, R19 in the attic, I'm sorry. And then over here we have on the floor, it's a raised foundation. She has R13 in the floor. And it's a 12 inch uh, structure thickness, uh, uh, basically a wood floor uh, on her crawl space. Uh, <clears throat> for the uh, glazing for her, her windows, she has double pane, uh, aluminum windows. Uh, they're just clear with a half inch gap, quarter inch. This is standard for the 1980s houses when this was built. So, And then if we look at the um, uh, wall, it's a stucco wall with R13 in the wall which is standard and two by fours on 16 inch center. 
Uh, typical construction of the day. So like I said, it's it's nothing nothing fancy. It's 1980s. The house itself is square footage of 1,533 square feet for the whole home. Uh, does not include the garage. Uh, so we go back to the uh, drawing screen here. We can see that uh, uh, we have uh, these yellow, the yellow tags are what we measured when you're a test in. And that what's in the blue, that's a register in the blue is the CFM that it's supposed to be. So let's take a zoom in. I like this one. So this is the reason WriteSoft works so well when you do a load calculation. So according to this, we measured 160 CFM. It's supposed to be 66%. And it's 201 is what it's, uh, CFM is what it's supposed to be, and that's 66% of that. Uh, if we take and uh, notice how the house, the north is facing this way, this way is north. If we were to rotate this house to a different direction, watch how the CFM changes. Now we're at 256 CFM down here from 201, and that's just by rotating the house. So this is why rules of thumb don't work. Uh, the software models exactly what it's supposed to be and it's not so bad on this one but uh, let's just let's take it back to north again let's take a look at down here at this this living room register so the or the family room register family room register is 145 CFM it's supposed to be 324 and we're only getting 39 percent of the capacity it's supposed to now this is a three ton unit which CFM stands for cubic feet per minute there's another video later on that we should be posting online here hopefully next week that explains all these acronyms that we use CFM BTUs AFUE, SEER, EER. I'm going to explain all those in one video so you, you can talk intelligently because we talk about tonnage and people think, well, it's a four ton unit or it's a three ton unit. That's 36,000 or uh, 6,000 pounds. No, that means it ha it it's supposed to deliver 36,000 BTUs to the house. Again, another acronym, BTUs. And, and like I say, watch the other video and it will go over that stuff uh, so you, you can talk intelligently and know what a guy's talking about and he's just not. You know baffling you with bullshit so let's go down and look at what we actually measured so the average cfm is 927 it's supposed to be 1200 that's 77 percent of capacity we did a blower door test the blower door test shows that the the if we use a simplified one this house would take a 2.4 but these people had a bunch of can lights that were installed before they bought the house and so if we change it to what we actually did when we do a blower door we can actually do the infiltration method as with the blower door and we plug in what it was which was 225 cfm suddenly that the unit it needs a 3.3 ton unit over it went up a ton of cooling so it's because of the infiltration that's that um uh 631 i'm sorry 631 inches that's a hole in the side of that in the house that that's how much the holes are in the house accumulative and they have like 20 can lights and the 20 can lights are the worst part of this this house that's where all the infiltration comes so if they didn't have all the duck or the infiltration and they have duct leakage because if we look at our duct leakage down here they have 319 cfm duct leakage at 25 pascals that's 27 percent of duct leakage so they're leaking ha a third of their air almost out of their duct work so there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to take care of they also have r19 insulation for the attic that that we take change the insulation fix the can lights so they're not leaking and fix the duct leakage and the air delivery till we get that dialed in they don't need a new system they just need all this stuff fixed and so there might be some assistance they can get through uh, uh, comfort home uh, uh, comfortable home through pg e which is a program that gives some rebates if they do things like fix the duct work, uh, add attic insulation, do some ducts, do some infiltration sealing. Because we really need to get this down to half of that because it was the air changes per hour at 50 pascals was 10.6. That means they change the air in that house 10 times an hour uh, for the volume. Whereas air, air changes per hour natural is 0.62. We actually are looking, for, we look for 0.35. Uh, if we can get it below 0.35, then we're, we're hitting our numbers that we want to do. Uh, there's some other things, all these other readings that we took right here just tells you all the problems they had. They had a, they had a three ton unit delivering 24,000 BTUs. It was only 68% of capacity. Remember that National Comfort Institute study. This is typical of what we see all the time. And a lot of times, if another contractor come in here, he'd just put a bigger unit in, and that would totally defeat the purpose because this this static pressures here, the 0.64 and the 0.58 and the total of 
means this unit will never deliver the airflow it's supposed to. The ductwork has to be fixed for this system to work. So again, write soft software, uh, we can do a load calculation. Um, this, this particular house was a lot to do, so it took us three hours and another hour and a half in the shop, putting it all together, and we can come back with a solution to, to, that we dial into the price so that when a customer chooses these things, uh, we can fix everything. We can take it, make it right so these people don't have to change their system. They just need to fix their ductwork. All right, back to Mitch. To sum up, a proper room-to-room -room load calculation will give us the information to properly design, install, and commission a new system that will make you comfortable and save energy and money. And if another contractor is quoting your price and he's using a rule of thumb to size your system or ductwork, don't walk away. Run away. Thanks for watching.